All right, I want to take a minute or two here to answer one of the absurd things that Trinitarians like to come out with. They like to say that we believe in three persons, yet one being. That's what they do. Um, so they try to make a difference between being and person. Well, let's look at the uh, standard for most Bible-believing Christians, the Webster's 1828 Dictionary that I'm holding in my hands here. Being. Noun, existence, as God is the author of our being. In God we live and move and have our being. Acts chapter what, 27. Number two, a particular state or condition. This is hardly a different sense. Number three, a person existing applied to the human race. I don't use the word human in my uh, normal vocabulary there, but just reading the thing here. Um, then it goes on with number four, number five, but you see... Right here, it says a person existing applied to normal people there. A person existing. Let me show that. Where my finger is pointing. Definition number three there. Hopefully I'm getting that. There you go. Now let's go back to person. Person. We'll see if there's a big difference here. Perspective, there's person. Um, okay. Here we have, this is page, I guess there's no page number, but here you have person right there at my finger. Um, noun person. A Latin persona said to be compound of per, through, or by, and sonus sound, a Latin word signifying primarily a mask used by actors on the stage. Definition number one, an individual human being consisting of body and soul. Uh, if we apply the word to living beings only possessed of a rational nature, the body when dead is not called a person. It is applied alike to a man, woman, or child. A person is a thinking, intelligent being. Hmm. A man, woman, or child considered as opposed to things or distinct from them. A zeal for persons is far more easy to be perverted than a zeal for things. A definition number three, a human being considered with respect to the living body or co corporal existence. Only the form of her person is elegant. You'll find her person difficult to gain. Blah, blah, blah. blah. It goes on. Um, the next two definitions, definitions, definitions number four and five, both say human being. So, um, don't know what to tell you. I mean, right there, definition four and five. You can hopefully see that. And then over here on this page, um, right there down in the corner. I can never, it's so hard to see with this thing. Right there. If you were able to see that, of course you can look it up online. Person and being are synonymous. Okay? It's not some kind of a magical thing that you can say that, uh, well, I believe in three persons, yet one being. Uh, you can't do that. If you believe in three persons, then you have to say three beings. But you see, if you say three beings, then you're getting into the problem of three different gods. And that is exactly what the Trinity teaches. Um, and Trinitarians are liars, those that stand up for the Trinity. They're very wicked. And if you stand for the Trinity, you need to repent of it because it's an evil teaching. You believe in three different gods. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And your little chart there says that they are not the same person. Right? There's no scripture for this stuff. The King James Bible only uses person singular in reference to God because there's only one God. All right? And the next video I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about this scripture proving that it's parts or members of the one God, not persons or beings. Okay? So uh, please watch that video if you have any more questions on this issue.